Hello and welcome to Mega Trip, the travel channel that inspires you to adventure. I'm Dom and you're joining me today in the UAE and on this episode, Mega Trip does Dibba. Here's what's coming up on this special episode of Mega Trip. Strap in Mega Tripper. This should be a good one. <laughs> yummy, yummy. The UAE is still pretty hot. That, that is a good oyster. Through the magic of editing, you now know more than I do about what's coming up on this episode of Mega Trip. But anyway, you join me somewhere a little bit different today. We are still very much in the UAE. In fact, we have driven about an hour and a half, about two hours, something like that, um, from Dubai to Al Fajira. And you can see here from this footage, um, there's a lovely drive. You start off driving through the desert on the highway, and then you start to carve through the mountains in the north. And like I said, we've come to Al Fajira and to the town of Dibba. And we are here for something very, very specific, something related to, I'll give you a little clue, to pearls, to the pearl farming history of the UAE. But anyway, we'll check all of that out in a second. But I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. You can see here, this is completely different to Dubai or Northern Abu Dhabi. You see mountains, sea, ocean. Absolutely beautiful spot, absolutely beautiful drive. Anyway, I'll let you know exactly what we're doing in just a minute. But first, cue the music. Okay then, Mega Tripper. Like I said, it's a little bit dark in here, but it's bright out there. Like I said, it's a little bit of a different adventure today. We've come to a place called Dibba or Dibba Bay. Famous for Dibba Bay oysters. And that's exactly where we are today. Check it out. Right here with Lizzie at the oyster farm here in Dibba Bay in Fajira. And a couple of times a year, just a couple of times a year, they open up to the public, they open up for a tour. So today that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go check out the oyster farm itself on a nice boat, come back, have a tour of the facility, a look around, and then hopefully, most importantly, taste some of those yummy ozone oysters. Strap in Mega Tripper. This should be a good one. If you haven't been to this region, then oysters may not instantly spring to mind. But just think about it just a little bit. Here we are on the coast, bordering the Arabian Gulf and the Indian Ocean. And here in Dibba Bay, it's actually quite a shallow bay, but very quickly it drops off into that Indian Ocean. And that cold water brings plankton, brings nutrients for the oysters and that's why they're farmed here. Now it wasn't always about oysters here. If you think back into history, um, 7,000, 8,000 years ago even, they were pearl farming. So not for the meat, for the pearls, for the pearl trade here in the Arabian Gulf. And this was very much the center of it for that very reason. Now over time, that has evolved into the oyster farm you see today and probably a few others like it but this is the main one if you ever come to the uae if you ever go out and eat and have oysters if you like them like i do they're very likely from dibba bay so really excited today to get a chance to have a little look around exactly how it's done and how we get from the history of pearl farming on the arabian gulf to some yummy yummy oysters yeah. 
So right now we're just hanging around uh, before the tour starts. Uh, luckily it's quite a long drive, so we left a little bit of an extra gap in there, but we've only got 10, 20 minutes, something like that, to, to wait before we can head out on the boat to go through the oyster farm. Now I would say, right now we're in October, the very start of October, and the UAE is still pretty hot. Certainly in Dubai, where we've driven from today, um, I think yesterday was a high of about 37, so it is getting a little bit cooler. But what is nice, I guess, about here in Dibba Bay and Fajira, is actually we're on the coast with a nice little breeze. I'm stood outside right now in direct sunlight. It looks like maybe, I don't know, 30 degrees, 32 degrees, something like that. Um, so it is a little bit cooler. So if you're here in a hot time of year, this could be, this could be something to do to escape that desert heat. Out on the boat we went, bobbing through the Arabian Gulf. Dibba Bay oysters have four concessions in the bay, each with oysters in different stages. You can see row upon row of buoys which hold the lanterns. And that's what they call the oyster nets, lanterns. And these are held at a depth of around seven meters. At any point in time, Dibba Bay have around 15,000 lanterns in the water. Can you even imagine how many oysters come out of this place? As the oysters grow, they're removed from the water, cleaned and placed into bigger nets or lanterns. And this is all done from these floating marbles out on the ocean, which sometimes don't come back to land for months and months at a time. This really is a once in a lifetime experience to see all the effort and technology that goes into farming these delicious bivalves. Once our expedition was done, it was time to head back to the processing area and see the next steps in getting oysters from the ocean to your plate. Back from the boat, we kicked off the factory tour by checking out the baby oysters, or sprats, in the form that they come to the farm. Here we can see thousands of the little blighters that are delivered at just a three millimeter size. The oysters themselves are not indigenous, but actually sourced from France. But for reasons of biosecurity, the oysters are triploid, which means they're infertile and cannot reproduce in the local waters of the United Arab Emirates. Before heading into the facility, we see the lanterns. These are the nets that the oysters grow in out in the bay. The smallest size of net is just three millimeters, but over multiple cycles, they're finally moved into 24 millimeter diameter nets. Next, we head into the facility itself to see the oysters being cleaned by some of the 156 employees of the Dibba Bay Oyster Farm. After this, the oysters are sorted by this impressive machine. They're sorted automatically by weight with size one being the largest at 150 grams, going all the way down to size five. This facility processes around 4.5 million oysters every single year. Once the oysters are sorted by size, they're put into clean water tanks with some very special tech. You'll have to visit yourself if you want all the details, but these tanks let the oysters purge their gut so they arrive to you clean and delicious. Finally, the oysters are packed into custom boxes that you can pick up in restaurants, shops like Spinney's, or even have delivered to your home along with your very own Dibba Bay shucking knife. It's hard to overstate just how impressive this facility is and the amount of work and technology that goes into producing these salty gems. Dibba Bay oysters are a great example of how the UAE is progressing in exciting industries such as this local fishery. The company is now owned and run by the Crown Prince of Fajira, securing its future and providing the benefits for this burgeoning industry to the population of the Emirate. So after the main event of heading out on the boat, 
we're back for the real main event, which is tasting the oysters themselves. And we have our traditional compliments. We've got some uh, vinegar and shallot. These are French uh, French oysters that have been imported here. We've got uh, a little bit of Tabasco. Uh, can't go wrong with that. We've got a little, some other kind of hot sauce. And I think we'll have some lemon coming as well. Now, I'm a bit of a heathen. I like to have a little bit of everything on my oysters, but we'll get through those and see just how good these Dipper Bay oysters are in just a minute, I'm sure. Oh, here they come. Now look at these guys. There's the lemon, juicy, oystery goodness. You know what? Let's give it a little, a little prep on this one. So I'm gonna go a little bit of a condiment. The vinegar on there. A uh, slight little dash of Tabasco and lemon. Let's get the whole hog. I'm gonna dive straight in here. Sorry, Lizzie, I'm filming it, so uh, I'm gonna nick the first one. So let's give this a go. Cheers. <coughs> That, that is a good oyster. Get yourself down here to the bay. Well, dear Mega Tripper, that was the main event, the eating of those yummy, yummy oysters down here in Dibba Bay in Fajira. And just before I give you my kind of final summary of what I thought of this, this day out, this little day trip um, from Dubai here in the UAE, just remember, if you like this content, give it a little like, it's just a little thumbs up, up icon down there. Uh, give that a little click. If you've got something to say, if you think we should have done something differently, a lot of you like to tell me the mistakes I make, please do drop that down in the comments. We love, 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 love to hear from you. And of course, do make sure you subscribe, please. Most of you watching these aren't actually subscribed. Just subscribe, it's a little, the little bell icon down there. It costs you absolutely nothing, just means you get a notification every single time I drop content uh, here on Mega Trip. on Mega Trip does Dibba. Uh, check this out, actually. Look at this big pile of oyster shells just lying here down by the beach. You can see the volume of oysters that must go through this place. Well, 4.5 million a year, as we heard earlier. Anyway, so, Dibba Bay Oyster Tour. Look, it's not on all year round, so if you get the chance to go, absolutely, absolutely do. It's amazing, it was really interesting to see where these yummy little nuggets of sea goodness come from. Um, but I guess a couple of things of warning. You do have to get yourself here. Uh, not sure you could get a taxi. You probably could, but it might cost you a little bit. So it is maybe an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute drive from Dubai. Uh, cost wise, it's about 700 dirham for two people. Uh, so 350 each. So that's about 140 pounds, maybe $200. So it is on the expensive side, but I would say it is certainly worth it. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is you want to do something a bit different, you want to get away from those kind of traditional brunches in Dubai, come down to Dibba Bay and do eat yourself some Dibba Bay oysters. They are absolutely delicious. Well, that's it from Mega Trip Does Dibba. Join me next time here on Mega Trip.